Rhino, Rhino Feeder. Oh, I, 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 I was dreaming about muffins. I wake up every morning feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow! Time to tear up another day. This strong bad freaking way. Like an imploding star, like a burning car. My style shines so bright. Please stop trying to handle my style. Cause you can't. No, you can't. Uh, handle my style. Seriously, quit trying to handle my style. Unless you're a lady. Then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style. I'm gonna check my email, my email, my email. I'm gonna check my what? Dear Strongbad, I've got a question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? Confust, N-E-M, Frenchtown, California. First of all, I don't think a Frenchie like yourself is in any position to be calling anyone chicken. Comprendez-vous, cordon bleu? Secondly, I'm pretty sure I don't want to beat the snot out of Homestar. I mean, have you ever listened to the guy? He's obviously got a lot of gunk up there. I could probably handle beating the tar, the stuffing, or the into next week out of him, though. I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track, running in place or something. Today's the day I finally give Homestar his long overdue pummeling. I can't unplug the Lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. Let's see. Now where should I put the track on my map? Alright, Homestar. I'm not sure why this never occurred to me before, but some French guy said I should beat you up. And I tend to think he's right. Put up your dukes! Oh, hello, Strong Man. Are you here to watch the race? A race? You mean like a race race? Race race race? You haven't heard about the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race? It's only the coolest and most important sporting event in the history of sporting events I'm about to compete in ever! A race, eh? You know, beating you in a race would be almost as much fun as beating you senseless. I'd like to see it twice, strong man. I've been training my tweets off for weeks now. And besides, Mazepin has promised me a big victory party after I win. You know, I bet I could win this race. That's cute. Keep dreaming, tiny legs. You know, I bet I could win this race. That's cute. Did someone say, party? Oh, heck yeah. Marzipan's putting together a huge party with floats and cake jugglers and balloon manimals and- And why was I, Lord High Awesome Party, occasionally known as Strong Bad, not invited? Whisperingly, I don't think Marzipan likes you very much. Come on, that party will be deader than a million doornails without me. I'll see if I can get you on the list. All this race talk has intrigued me. I believe I will postpone your pummeling. For now. Pummeling? Hold on, I gotta take this. Yes, Marzipan? Yes? 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 No! Yes! Yes! I miss you too, Puddin' Sack. See you after the race. Bye! Girlfriend troubles? Not me, bro. Mazepin just wanted my opinion on the decorations. And the cake jugglers. And the play of the lowland toad weasel. And the bit did it Pardon me. I'm off to the locker room to reacquire my game face. Oh. 
Homestar's cell phone is finally mine! Now I can change all his speed dials? Muhuhaha! Hey, don't be fiddling with that Bogliacci stick! Let's see. Speed dial number one. Homestar? Hello, Marzipan. Are you all right? You sound funny. I look funny. I'm just, uh, out of breath from all the training for the race that I've been doing. Okay, so when are you going to run this race anyway? I need to know when to take the curb wrinkles out of the oven. More like crud wrinkles. What was that? Nothing, Lambface. I was just saying that the race is about to start right now. Oh dear, I better hurry on over. Hooray! I'll see you soon. Don't start without me. Bye bye I'm Homestow! Pum 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 pum. Hello there, Balloon Man. This is Homestar Wano. Please don't beat me too badly in the waist to the end of the waist today, okay? Hello, attractive women. You've reached strong bad. If you're not an attractive woman, please hang up the phone. If you are an attractive woman, please purchase a hot tub and some pork rinds and invite me over. See you in your dreams. Hi, Strongbad. This is Homestow. I'm an attractive woman and I bought a hot tub. Come on over. That was more than a little weird. The cheat has a phone? Who knew? <laughs> hey, the cheat. This is totally Homestow. Can you come to my house and gnaw my face off? And steal my boombox and leave it at the drop point? Bye! Sometimes I like to get creative with my mission assignments for the cheat. Dial B for Bubs. Hi, hello people! Welcome to Bubs Concession Telestay! For calendars, press 1! For dialers, press 8! For supporters, press star! You can't prank a phone tree. Besides, the last time I navigated Bub's telestand, I wound up with a crate full of rhino horns. And not even the endangered kind. I've got half a mind to go over to Marzipan's and give her a piece of the rest of my mind about not inviting me to her sucko party. But where should I put her house on my map? I Not interested. Go see. What's the good word? No time for jibbers or jabbers right now, strong bad. I gotta make sure this race goes off without a hitch. Tell me more about this race of which you speak. Haven't you heard? It's time for the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! How the what now? You know, the F-C-U-T-R-E-R! Every three years, the greatest athletes in the world gather to pit their pits against the most grueling obstacle course devised by man or beast, all in the hopes of winning the coveted Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race Silver Trophy of Ultimate Destiny! You mean the F-C-U-T-R-E-R-S-T-U-D? The Facutra Stud! Exactly! So all a guy has to do is win a stupid race to get that really kick-awesome trophy? Not even close! In order to prove themselves worthy of the Free Country USA Triannual Race of Ultimate Destiny, da -da -da -da, you gotta beat the best time of all the previous trophy winners! Well, that sucks! What's the best time? As it just so happens, yours truly got the best time! Way back in 1999! Check it out! After talking to my bad buddy Homestar, I, Strong Bad, have decided to compete and dominate the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race! Where's that starting line? 
Well, now that's gonna be a bit of a problem, Strong Bad. The deadline for entering the race was over a month ago. What? In fact, there are only two official entrants in this year's race. Homestar and Pom Pom. Not exactly a clash of the titans there, Coach. Yeah, maybe we should have put up some flyers or something. Come on, man! Let me in the race! Rules are rules, Strong Bad. Only Homestar and Pom Pom will be allowed to compete in the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race! That's one Cretaceously big trophy! It dang well should be. That's the Silver Trophy of Ultimate Destiny, awarded to the winner of the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race! Of course it is! Don't touch that kernel with the milk! Taking marzipan balloons, and I don't know why. Whoa, these are some pretty powerful balloons. Feel like I'm walking on the moon with these things. Hmm, oh and so, it's almost as if an evil genius had lured her away from her house or something. That's some of the loosest soil I've ever seen. Not that I spend a lot of my time staring at soil or anything. The man, so loose. I don't know much about shrubbery, but I know an unclipped red-headed step hedge when I see one. That's Marzipan's immense vegetable paper mache representation of Homestar's stupid head. Mmm, ripe, stinky onions. I better pick a few in case I need to make an emergency stew later on or something. This banner will say congratulations, Strong Bad, by the end of the day. Mark my words. Unless Strong Bad makes it, in which case it'll probably say contagulate Strong Bad. But still, seriously, mark them. Checking my snail mail, checking my snail mail. Mmm, what's this? I'm ready for the big heist. Those smoky red laser beams don't stand a chance when I'm in this getup. Mmm, I think I'll put it in my fancy schmancy trans-dimensional photo booth wardrobe. Ah, uh, no. I'm just over here checking my email, and your breath smells real bad. Dear Mr. Bat, my brother and I were wondering whose head is bigger. Yours or Homestar's? Quizzically, Jay and Jim Rosen, Brooklyn, New York. Hmm, that's a good question. I should go do some field research. Deleted. Dear Strong Man, is it true that you're Dan O'Meara? Oh, Country Croc, Ireland. Oh yeah, beating the snot out of Homestar. I should probably get back to that someday. El Delito Grande! That's where I keep discs 1 through 24 of all my favorite games. Check this out. Ah, I sometimes get tired of that. 
Intriguing. Hey, Strong Sam, you in there? Yes. Come on, let me in. I just want to punch you a few hundred times. Not interested. Come on, Strong Sad. I've got your favorite food. Some nasty ethnic food. I don't believe in favoring one food over another. Strong Sad, Raymond Jenkins, you open this door right now or I'll... 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 You'll what? Oh, we'll just wait till your father gets home and see what he says. You're not even my real mom. Fine. I didn't want to go in your purple room of doom and gloom anyway. This is Charlemagne, Strong Sad's plant. It used to be healthy, but after Strong Sad started talking to it, it decided to kill itself. That's not true. That's not what the note said. Hit me with your best food shot, fridge of mine. The only thing in here is some paleolithic fluffy puff mayonnaise. Looks like some fat buddy needs to go to the store. It was my turn last time. I can't use the wavy mic. Its door's stuck shut with nacho entrails and mangled action figures. Let's just see what's in the old CD spinner. Oh, it's Strong Sad's copy of the best of Brit Pout, the 90s years. Sounds like Coach Z has forced another one of his demos unto the world. I've had just about enough of that. Let's see what else is in there. Oh joy, it's that copy of Jane's ostentatious chamber music jam. I'd like to use this CD as a chamber pot. Mr. Dawson! Oh. Oh, what's this? The cheats assorted Latin rhythms? Enough with the music already. You gotta see it when Strong Mad shotguns one of these things. That smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made Strong Sad eat a 9 volt po boy. Sometimes, I like to stand in front of my window and start flexing, in case a girl's volleyball team is walking by. The loneliest goat sees the last sunset last. That's a horse. The cheat. Watch your freaking back, Squeaky. Man, that's one intimidating hush puppy. All right, the Tarantula Black Metal Detector! I had to sell like 500 magazine subscriptions to get this baby, but it was totally worth it to be able to shoot radioactive positrons into the Earth's crust in search of rusty pennies. Ah, the short-lived 7-track. Your lack of a play button was your undoing. I wonder what's plugged into the fun machine. Okay, show me that logo! Do, 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 do. Awesome! Snake Boxer 5! So much better than the unfortunate Snake Boxer 4, Lady Snake Parade. Ding ding! What? No, I was not just Snake Boxed! Upper blow! Body punch! Yeah, I'm pretty much the coolest. Right in the face. Oh, my hand slipped off the controller. 
Eat my red blocky pom poms! <laughs> Stupid snake! And the snake goes down! What? Oh, that's so cheated! I've been biting! Take that! That guy kinda looks like Strongman, with giant eyebrows holding two giant cherries. Kapow! I wonder if this snake is stuffed with lots of little snakes. I quit! Oh, man! That was awesome! The only thing that could make Snake Boxer 5 even cooler is using that secret code to unlock the game's controversial hidden mode. It's a good thing I wrote down the code in the manual right over... Hey, who took my Snake Boxer 5 manual? It's possible that my bed's under there, but I'm not touching it to find out. You know what I need to add some much needed hua to my day? A little thing I like to call Teen Girl Squad! Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! So and so! What's your face? The ugly one! Okay, gals and gal-related girls, we fit to look so good. Yeah, the same. At the sub JV basketball game tonight, all the cute boy pieces will be there, and maybe sloppy seconds for you. Baller, who are you talking to? Oh, what? Uh, that's what I'd say. If a boy was here. You. Boys love pubescence perfume. Accentuate the awkward. Walking is like a fashion show for shoes. Gotta make sure my cover-up isn't flaking. Nope, horrible sky and acne is safely concealed. <laughs> I can practice my moves on this basketball. Oh, hey, basketballer. I know it's the wrong sport, but we can still get to first base. You don't got next. Oh. Uh. Later on the game! Uh-oh, girl types. Gotta look good despite my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. He's on fire! Ding doodle ding doodle ding! It's a text message! Maybe it's a boy! No, just me. You! Cover your lungs, everyone! I gotta crisp these bangs up with some ozone killer hairspray! Better put on some sunscreen! Ooh, SPF negative 50! It's over! Uh, that was inexcusably in-funny. I can't let the guys at the snooty independent record store see that! Negative 10 points. Maybe I should try combining some of my ideas on the same girl. Or maybe work on my comedic timing. Teen Girl Squad! So that I Cover your lungs, everyone! I can practice my moves on this basketball! 
You don't. Uh. Walking is like a fashion show for shit. Better put on some sunscreen. Ooh, SPF negative 50. Ding doodling doodling. It's a text message. Maybe it's a boy. No, just me. <laughs> Later on the game. Uh oh, girl types. Gotta look good despite my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. He's on fire. Fundamentals. <laughs> Put one on me, basketballer. I like the way you dribble up and down the court. Coach says girls are a detriment to my game face. And I should spend more time in the showers. Teen Boy Stink! Gotta make sure my cover up. You! This new Brain Creek ringtone is hot! Jugga Jigga Wugga! Ding doodle ling doodle ling! Oh dang, was that Brain Creek? I love cheese. I mean Brain Creek. It's over! Ugh. Zero points! Teen girl! Sit down! I just. Better put on Cover your Walking is like a fashion show for shoes! Gotta make sure my cover-up isn't flaking! Nope! Horrible scar and acne is safely concealed! Alternative energy source! This is so good for the environment! <laughs> Boys, look! Later on the g- uh -oh. He's a fundamental- <laughs> This new Brain Creek ringtone is hot! Jugga Jigga Wugga Ding! Oh dang, was that Brain Creek? I love cheese. I mean Brain Creek. Hey basketballer! I made it bought this for you! Sweet! Watch my white layup drills! Triple doubled! <laughs> Put one on me, basketballer! I like the way you dribble up and down the court. Kurt says girls are a dead Teen boy stink. Perfume stank plus athletic stonk. <coughs> equals CLCH2CH2SCH2CH2CL. Commonly known as mustard gas. Oh, the chemistry! <laughs> it's over. Acceptable. It's not quite too hot for loose leaf just yet, though. 33. No, 38 points. Man, I can never get enough of that sassy, injury-prone teen girl squad. The only thing that could possibly make their adventures even more unfortunate would be if I used those really cool teen girl squad ideas I jotted down last night after a fried chicken pizza bender. Hey, what happened to all my really cool Teen Girl Squad ideas? <laughs> Shut up! Hey, look at that thing over there! <laughs> How you doing in there, the cheat? <laughs> Hey, do you kiss your hot mom with that mouth? Hey, it's that infomercial for the Ab Aber 2000. It claims you can get a nine pack in less than 40 scribbles a day. I can't play Trogdor until someone gets off their pasty white butt and fixes the joystick. I'm working on it, but the parts are on back order. Keep on keeping my butt print warm for me, couch. 
Hey, it's the Laugh Track Alicious Adventures of Guy and Girlfriend. Oh, this is the one where Guy thinks he kills girlfriend's hamster and tries to replace it with another hamster, but the first hamster had been dead all along, so girlfriend thinks he came back to life. And then the hilarity and the, the humor and the original comedy television writing. Hey, it's that infomercial. I'm back here, Strong Bad. Tra la 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 la. Quiet, you. Hey. I heard an ugly rumor that there's going to be a party here and I'm not invited. Oh, that's not a rumor. Good. It's a cold hard fact. Why? Do you remember what happened the last time I invited you to a party? Behold, I am Lord Burglebroth. Come for your souls. All will kneel before my style. Look out. <laughs> I still don't see why I can't come to your stupid party that I hate. Well, I was willing, but Homestar said no way. Parenthetically, I don't think he likes you very much. Did you make all these decorations? That's so sweet of you to ask. Why, yes, all of these party decorations were handcrafted by me, myself, and I. I grew the bamboo for the tiki torches in my underground terrarium, ground the paint pigments for the victory banner from a variety of rose petals in my garden, and completed a three-week course in ironworking at the local community college so that I could hand smelt the cute little home star float over there. Wow, that was a lot of words. Nice dorkerations, marzipan. Hey, I've been working on those for a week. Weak is right. Maybe you should have tried working on them for a strong. <laughs> Go away, strong bad. I can't believe you're throwing such a big party for such a small brain. Who? Oh yeah, Homestar. Well, I was just planning to throw a big party celebrating my award-winning organic vegetable garden, but no one seemed to want to come to that. So I added Homestar into the mix, and now everyone's coming. Ahem. <clears throat> Almost everyone. Thank you. That shrub out front looks like it's made out of the ugly sticks that someone beat it with. Isn't it just the saddest thing you've ever seen? I trim it, but my head shears are in the shop. The head shears fixing shop? Well, Bub's concession stand, but he likes to call it a shop. So this Homestar victory party is just an excuse to show off your garden? It's more like one of the universe's happy synchronicities. Like when a whale eats a fisherman, or you walk into a wall. Hey, I only did that twice. Hey, look at the invisible time. Bye now. Bye, Strong Bad. Here somewhere. Whoa, that is one seriously ginormous version of Homestar. Do you like it? The paper is made from 100% vegetable products from my prize-winning organic garden. I always suspected Homestar was a big vegetable. Hey, you! With the face! Bubs! Strong man, shouldn't you be beating the snot out of Homestar or something? How do you know about that? I'm your internet provider, man. I read all your email. How's the fast-paced world of concession stand? Uh, standing. Business is biznasty. Have you lost weight? I sure have. This green stripe here is actually one of them weight loss jiggle belts. Want one? Um, no. Thanks for implying that I'm fat, though. Hey, no problem. Oh, 
Bubs! Strong! Good grief, Bubs! You've really let yourself go! Hey, man! I've got a glandular problem! More like a gravy boat problem! Marzipan sent me to pick up her head shears! She did? Well, that's just awesome! I got them all fixed up and ready to go! Whoa! These are pretty sweet! You said it! I've totally rebuilt them with my patented gyroscopic Ocho track blade action and passenger side airbag! Guaranteed to shave a shrub smoother than a baby's bottom! These are way too cool for marzipan! I think I'll give him a test driver 10 before I give him back to her! Gotta run! Bye! Come back soon! You're always awesome! Come back soon! Box peering guy! Hey! It's the cover to my long lost Snake Boxer 5 manual! If I can find the rest of this thing, I'll have the cheat code that unlocks Snake Boxer 5 super secret forbidden mode! Hey, hey, hey! Step right up and trade your money for some stuff! This is the sign that totally notifies all trespassers that they have officially entered Strong Badia, the place where the tropical breezes blow, in theory. This is our go-to vehicle for pretend high-speed chases, pretend road trips, and oh-so-real make-out sessions. Hmm, I wonder what's going on behind this curtain. Whoa, this place is way roomier on the inside. It's like it distorts time and space. Oh, hi, space. Catch you on the flip side, the cheat. Wonder if there's something under... Yes! So that's where I left my data boy's polo shirt. I better stow that in my, uh, virtual photo booth wardrobe for safekeeping. Zen. Well, Zen. So, everybody, please, it's the greatest day. Welcome to Barbados. A typical former Buddha can go for weeks without showering. Fascinating. We request happy green time. For a new dynamic, please try through. I'm not through with the old one yet. Special orders can be upsetting. Please smile for the Barbados satellite camera. What the? Thank you. In the event of a firestorm, the salad bar will remain open. Whoa! You can't get ahead until you get ahead. How? This hedge is the disease, and I'm the placebo. Now that's a hedge I'd be proud to accompany to the Sadie Hawkins dance. Behold the flying V! I'd shred up some squeedlies right now, but my furious fists might catch the hedge on fire. Ooh, a big pile of hedge trimmings! Can't ever have enough of these! Hi, pointless wall! Hi, strong man! Wanna buy some? Everybody wanna buy some?
Armstrong bad checks his email. A cute fish dies. Dear Mr. Strang L. Bod, are you feeling athletically inadequate? Is your six pack more of a pony keg? Do your muscles have less definition than a first grader's dictionary? Then why not get on the Adonis train with a crate of total load, total body fitness energy enhancement powder? Totally safe, totally organic, totally awesome! Hey, this stuff sounds great! Dear Total Load Peoples, thank you so much for your kind offer. Although I personally am endowed with bulging biceps that have been described as bad boys, pipes, guns, and thunder bludgeons, it never hurts to get a heroically chiseled leg up on the competition. Please send me a free sample of your wonderful product immediately. Great flavor. Yours truly, Strongman. It's empty now, on account of all that emptying I did earlier. Ready for the big race to the whatever? Almost. I've warmed up, showered, and plucked my eyebrows. Now I'm just going through my pre-waste psychomumps. Are you running the race yet? I'm not fully psyched yet. A little bit amped, maybe 50% riveted, but not quite psyched. I know exactly how to tell you this, man, but you reek. Really? I just took a power shower a few minutes ago. Well, let me check. <laughs> nope, I'm fresh as a biscuit. Sounds like one of those smelt slash delt situations to me. Not that I care. But how are the plans for your stupid moron party coming along? Well, I don't know, but it's been at least two minutes since Marzipan called me, so I assume it's going great. Not that I care. Well, I don't know. You wouldn't happen to know what happened to my Snake Boxer 5 manual, would you? I borrowed some of it from Strong Sad to read on the train. And by train, I mean toilet. Gross! But then I gave it to Marzipan for some papier ma chapier project she's working on. Grosser! This place, give me the jibblies. See ya. Fight or flight, big champ. No turning back. You made the sandwich, now step in it. Let's see. Full length mirror, stunner shades, $3,000 velvet training bag. Yep, this must be Pom Pom's locker, all right. Even Pom Pom's locker is a bachelor pad. I think there's even a hot tub in here somewhere. Looks like Strong Mad forgot his limousine, but they're in space lunchbox again. Normally, I take everything that's not bolted down, but the last time I came between Strong Mad and his lunch, he put my uvula in a sleeper hold. Oh, what a goose I am. Oh, what a goose I am. Even if it weren't locked, I'd rather not go into Coach Z's office, or the Temple of Butt Pattery, as it's come to be known. Clam Blue Ocean. Clam Blue Ocean. Play a blue ocean. No one cares. Hey, Homestar, you want to know how to really win the race? How? Onions. Onions? No, really. An old uh, gypsy track coach told me that the secret to running was using all natural onion deodorant. Simply rub it all over your bad self and feel the fastiness flow through you. Ooh, those onions glide on smooth and clear. Wow, thanks, strong man. I feel like I could take on the world. Yeah, <coughs> especially if the world is <coughs> downwind. Phew. No way. I better not. The last time I tried to use the detector indoors, it microwaved off Strong Mad's eyebrows. We couldn't tell how mad he was for weeks. Man, 
man, you stink. And not in the metaphorical you suck kind of way, but in the literal odors that could peel the paint off a tank kind of way. Seriously, strong man, I find that very unlikely. <laughs> Great grandma's diapers. I better hit the shower again pronto. Yeah, give me a chance to shield my eyes. Whew. If it weren't for my cheat like reflexes, I would have had Homestar's nethers burned onto the backs of my eyeballs. Selfies coming, shower fun. Let this be a lesson, kids. Always shower with your clothes on. Or someone, meaning me, will steal them. I think they're really ready to start the waste this time. Are you sure? Positive. Fine, I'll be right over. Strong bad, buddy? Oh boy. Whoa, Mama! Nope. I think this little patch of ground is already horked up its share of treasure today. Hedge clip power to the maximum thrust drive, yeah! Now that's what I call an inspirational and unintentionally revealing piece of art. Ooh, a big pile of hedge trimmings. Can't ever have enough of these. Why, hello, Mr. Enormous Noggin Homestar. What can I do for you today? Nothing too fancy, Mr. Old Timey Bobble Strong Bad. Just a little bit off the top. Anything you say, sir! Whoa! That one even better than expected! Uh-oh, here comes trouble. That darn home star, as if I didn't have enough to do without pointlessly running back and forth. What the? Homestar, did you do this? Nothing to say? Well, fine, you party-wrecking dummy. I hope you lose your precious race to the end of the race. Man, I'd hate to be you right now, Homestar. Or would I? Empty now. Oh, hello. I'm Homestar Wano. Tunes, games, email. Shut up, Homestar. Whoa, I even had myself convinced. This is going to be hilarious. I My turn. Hello, Coach Z. It is I, Homestar, and I'm wedded to Ace. Homestar, your head is huge. You're not on any of those illegal performance enhancers I hear about on TV, are you? The rub? Are you on the rub? Is it the rub? Me? Homestar? Cheat? It is to laugh. Ha 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 Oh, I needed that. Well, now that you're finally ready to go, let's begin the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race! 
Okay, as you're no doubt aware, the Free Country USA Triennial Race to the End of the Race is a race against time. Not only do you have to put up the fastest time against each other, but you also gotta beat the previous best time, as established by yours truly back in 1999 over there. All right then, let's get started. Pom Pom, you're up first. On your marks, get set, and go! Whoa, 5.3 seconds! Not only did that beat my time, I'd say that's going to be pert near impossible to beat! Ready, Homestar? Hey, wait, don't I get any instructions or anything? What do you need instructions for? You've been training for weeks! Oh yeah, that's why right. I've been training! On your marks, get set, go! Yes! Star. That was one of the worst performances I ever seen in the race to the end of the race. You should be downright ashamed. Yeah, and embarrassed. I guess I was just too clumsy, lame, and not cool to win. You said a mouthful, youngster. Pom Pom, step into my office. We gets to fill out a bunch of paperwork before we can send the tape off to the judges. There you are, you insensitive, party-pooping pyromaniac. You and I are T-H-R-U through. And don't think I've forgotten about your little naked escapade, you currently giant-headed hooligan. You'll rue the day you exposed your giblets to a government official. Boo me! Well, I didn't get a chance to pummel Homestar with my fists, or beat him in a race, but I did succeed in turning him into a publicly humiliated criminal fugitive without a girlfriend. And I didn't even have to use my AK. Oh, hey, Strongman. Homestar! What the crap are you doing here in my hallowed halls? Now that I'm a publicly humiliated criminal fugitive without a girlfriend, you're the only friend I've got. So I'm gonna go ahead and crash you for a couple weeks or years until I put my life back together. I run <sighs> All right, Homestar, it's time for you to go. There's no room in the House of Strong for crybabies. What about Jog said? I'm not a crybaby. I'm tormented. Okay, there's room for one crybaby in the House of Strong. And that position's been filled! Out you go! No way! I'm not leaving until my life is back to the wonderful way it used to be! <laughs> <laughs> 